The University of Rhode Island has been a school associated with the successful Division I men's basketball program, dating all the way back to the exciting years when NBA forward Lamar Odom and also former NBA guard Katino Mobley played their college years here. These past two years have been the complete opposite, where the team has only just one win in its first 11 games, falling to the bottom of the Atlantic 10 Conference. Notable interstate rivals such as Brown and Providence College have had immense success against this struggling roadie team, and the Rams simply have not played up to their fans' expectations. Head coach Jim Barron last year almost led a highly motivated and experienced class of Rams to the NCAA tournament, but unfortunately fell short at the end. Speculation has been surrounding Coach Barron this season and whether or not he will be the right fit for the job in the near future. Anthony Russo, a student who has followed the running roadie Rams extensively during his entire college stay here, has mentioned the Rams need to improve quickly and make significant changes. Well, URI has not been a top team in the A-10 recently because, frankly, I don't think the coach is doing his job correctly. Um, the fact that we've had some talent in the previous years, and we have had talented players, but they, they just haven't produced. They haven't gotten the job done when it counts. They, in the past years, they've actually started off pretty well, and then they've tapered off towards the end of the season. And if you look at this year, I believe they're 1-10 so far, so they're following the complete opposite script, and they're starting off poorly. So maybe they'll turn it around. Maybe they'll have a good second half. But with Barron, I don't know. As of this year, for the recruits that they've brought in, as of this year, I feel like they've done a very, uh, I feel like they've done a well, uh, a pretty good job. Uh, when you look at the type of guys they've brought in, they've brought in a lot of, uh, a lot of like six seven, six six swing guards who can play guard slash forward. And Jim Barron likes to play a lot of, uh, he likes to press defense a lot. So he needs big athletic guys. Kind of in the past years, he's had Delroy, who's been able to get up and down the court very, uh, very efficiently. But I mean, yeah, I think they. I think the guys they brought in have done pretty well, but I just don't think that they know how to execute under Barron. Well, when you look at Jim Barron and you look at his son, Billy, I do feel that a big reason why he has been in, he, the big reason why he has stuck around as coach is because, yeah, his son is about to play. You looked when you had, we had Jimmy Barron back in the day, and it's just it, it's, it's, it's kind of ridiculous when you think about it because Jim Barron, the highest paid state employee in the state of Rhode Island, and what has he done? We've never even made an NCAA attorney. We've never gotten there with Barron as coach. So I feel like uh, there, there's got to be some reason. Clearly it's not winning. Winning isn't the reason why we're keeping Jim Barron. So it must be because we have Billy Barron, his second son, playing for him. That, that, that's really the only thing I can think of why he's still around here because clearly uh, winning isn't the issue. The head coaching position isn't the only thing affecting the team to become successful. The fans have been pretty much disappointed to an extent and have showed a lack of support as well. P.T. Rainier, the WRIU sports director for the University of Rhode Island Radio and also broadcaster and commentator for the URI men's and women's basketball program, felt the need to elaborate his opinion and also speak on behalf of the disappointing fan base. Um, you know, despite a 1-10 record, there's a couple reasons why I won't like to count them out yet. One of them being because of two transfers, uh, Billy Barron and Andre Malone. <clears throat> they uh, are set to play this coming Friday, and they're two key players who they expect to uh, bring some, some more talent to this team. And another reason is because URI hasn't really gotten to conference play yet, so I, I think if they can go out into their conference and get some conference wins, that'll help them turn their season around. Barron's been a good coach here for the 10 years he's been here. Uh, he's coached in the A-10 prior to URI, coming from St. Bonaventure. And uh, he's gotten URI to the NIT five out of his 10 years here. Um, I think a candidate for a coaching job in replace of Coach Barron would be the assistant coach, Pat Clark. Um, I don't think you would see really a big name come in, but Pat Clark also coached at St. Bonaventure with Coach Barron. So I think he would be a, a good replacement, and he's been here 10 years as well. Um, so I, I think that would be your best candidate for a head coaching spot. URI has placed a heavy burden on the shoulders of Coach Barron and also current men's basketball players. 
to hope they reestablish their dominance on top of the A-10 and also give roadie fans the excitement of a winning Division I basketball team. This is Brad Flanagan reporting from URI News.